Political fundraising totals to start 2024 are now in, and Minnesota Democrats have a big advantage. At least when it comes to money. But Republicans are banking on enthusiasm and low approval ratings for President Biden to make up for that cash disadvantage. Chief Political Reporter Tom Hauser is breaking down the numbers. The presidential race will get the most attention nationally and statewide in 2024. However, the fiercest battles will play out in 134 races for Minnesota House seats, where Republicans need to flip four seats to take control. They'll need to do that with little financial help from the state Republican Party. The DFL party starts 2024 with nearly $1.9 million in cash. The state GOP at just over 42000 with 69000 in debt. But Larry Jacobs of the U of M Humphrey Institute says Democrats face some headwinds. Joe Biden's uh, approval rating is about 40 percent or below. Um, there's still concern about the economy. There's concern about immigration. All that weighs on Democrats. Legislative candidates will get help from House Party caucuses where the DFL again has an advantage, but not by as much. The House DFL starts with $1.2 million in cash. The House GOP just under $700,000. They're hoping to use their advantage in terms of cash to offset uh, maybe the momentum and the enthusiasm on the Republican side. Two key congressional races, the second district where Democrat incumbent Angie Craig at $2.1 million has six times more cash on hand than two potential Republican competitors combined. And in the fifth district, Democratic incumbent Ilhan Omar has nearly 1.5 million cash on hand with Democratic primary opponent Don Samuels at just under 350,000. But she remains quite controversial. Don Samuels again is launching a competitive campaign. Samuels came within two percentage points of defeating Omar two years ago. Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.